Hello everybody, we are back again today with some beautiful, I mean seriously, seriously beautiful wild caught Pacific halibut. This is first of the season fish, so this is as fresh as it gets, beautiful as it gets. Again, first of the season, fresh in, absolutely stunning, and we are going to cook this off today with a really nice green curry because green curry and seafood go very, very well together. And it's very, very easy to make. So we're gonna show you how to do that. But I just wanted to show off just how absolutely beautiful this fish is. We'll have this all weekend for sure until we sell out. $31.99 a pound, so really good stuff. Just in, look at just how that flesh just is shimmery and white. This is exactly what you want from a halibut. So we are gonna cook that off today. And, you know, talk about some updates and things as per usual. Uh, again, we are live. I've got my phone here. So if you've got questions, things like that, please feel free to ask them. And we will happily address those as we go. So, first of all, what I want to do is I want to get my pan started here. I'm going to go ahead and get turned on. There we go. I'm looking for kind of a medium heat here. Uh, something pretty basic and yeah so first things first what I want to do is I've got a little bit of flour so we're gonna do something a, a technique that's kind of similar to what we've done a little bit earlier in the week where I'm gonna take my flour I'm gonna season it with a little bit of salt I'm gonna kind of just toss this around a little make sure that salt gets in there then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fish and I'm just going to do the top side this time and I'm going to dab the fish in this flour and just to get a nice little coat on the top there and now that my pan is starting to get warm it's feeling pretty good I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of oil to the pan what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a nice little browning going on the top of this fish but then we're going to actually finish it in the curry and kind of braise it off so we're just going to start it to get that nice crust, start developing a little bit of flavor. So I'm going to get my fish, I'm going to shake it off, and I'm going to set it into my pan to let that start kind of browning and cooking. This is exactly what I want to have happen. So at this point, we can start prepping our vegetables, for which I've got some carrots, that I've already got pre-cut uh, into sticks. So these are ready to go. I've got my red onion and I've got my bell pepper. So for bell peppers, what I like to do, is I like to just cut the sides off while also trying to avoid the white pith that's inside because that pith can actually be a little bit bitter. So I'm just gonna cut around this like so and into strips. I'll take this little bottom piece too because we don't want to waste anything and then if you've got any additional pith in there, go ahead and just remove it. But right now we're looking pretty good. I'm gonna cut the curly end parts off. And I'm just gonna cut these into julienne, which just means large kind of sticks like so. And these, this is really great for doing sautés and stir fries like this. So again, I'm just gonna kinda get this going. See if you got any questions so far. It looks like we got somebody tuned in. It's not pulling up on my phone for some reason. Surprise, <laughs> surprise ingredient. I do have a little something special worked up, so I will show you what that is shortly once we get cooking. Uh, it's the kind of thing that can take a dish like this kind of straight up to the next level. They are very cheap and affordable and just awesome. Truly underrated kind of ingredient, if you ask me. So we'll get to that, cut these little nubs off here, it'll all go in. So I've got these cut into julienne, mince that down a little bit, along with some of these other odd parts. There we go. So the other thing I want to do is cut my onion, I just want to slice it. Again, we're looking to go fairly thinnish, I want this to cook up fairly fast. And there we go. So I got onion, bell pepper, and carrots all ready to go. And this fish is already working 
beautifully. So that's nice. I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of the rest of the spell pepper. I'm not gonna need that. And I'm gonna set my other onion off to the side here. Now what I'm looking for on this halibut is kind of the browning to start to occur along the side edges. That'll let me know kind of how we're doing. And it looks like it's starting to kind of develop that crust a little bit, which again is exactly what I want. I want this that nice golden brown. But again, we're only gonna do the top side here. Um, we'll do the bottom side actually in the curry to help finish it off and cook it through nice and gently. So again, this is going pretty well. Give this just another minute or so. I've already pre-cooked some rice behind me, so I've got that ready to go because curry and rice, you know, go hand in hand very nicely. So the other thing is that I want to talk about is you maybe saw yesterday that uh, our senior discount for seniors, veterans, and anybody that's considered to be at risk is still live for online orders. So if you're placing orders online, you can use discount senior vet and you will be good to go. That's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll flip it over here just so I can get it back onto my spatula. And I wanna show you again kind of what I'm looking at. So here's the fish. You see we've got this nice golden brown crust on top. That's perfect. That's all flavor and exactly what we want. So I'm just gonna set my fish off to the side for the time being. And I'm gonna throw in my vegetables and get these sort of sauteing. So I got carrots, bell peppers, and onions. All gonna go into the pan like so. Again, green curry is one of my favorite dishes of all time. It's very easy to make. Uh, whether you are, uh, you can make your own curry paste at home if you wanted to. It's pretty easy to do. Um, get your herbs, like your, uh, you can use mint, basil, cilantro, Thai basil, uh, grape, uh, all into a blender with a little bit of oil, and basically you're looking to just blend smooth. Uh, and then you kind of toast it off in your pan, add coconut milk, maybe a little bit of sugar if you want to get a little bit of, add a little bit of sweetness to it. Uh, and then, yeah, you just whisk it together and it kind of will thicken as it reduces and becomes just a really beautiful thing. Otherwise, there's all kinds of great green curry paste that you can get at the store. They last a long time in your refrigerator, you know, a tablespoon or two, depending on how much you're making at a time, uh, along with a little coconut milk, works very nice. Um, we also sell this jar of green curry in the store. You can order this online as well. This stuff works really great as kind of just a simmering sauce, like what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to hit it with just a little bit of salt here. Those vegetables are starting to come along pretty nicely. Again, I'm going to get that going. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up, ask. That's what we're here to do. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, awesome. I hope you do make it. If you do make any of these dishes that we're doing this week, definitely take a picture, post it online. Don't be afraid if it doesn't look pretty or whatever. Just post it. Food is always pretty. And it's not always about how it looks, it's about the flavor. And right now we're developing some beautiful flavor. I can just smell this just wafting off of here. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. every second of it. So now what I'm gonna do is these are kind of softening up pretty well, which is great, exactly what I want. And I'm gonna wanna go ahead and get my sauce ready, which is right here. Now just like coconut milk, this can be a little bit thick up on top, so we're just going to kind of stir it together. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Again, this stuff works really well. We've got several different flavors too, so if there's a, I think a yellow curry or a masamon curry. Um, just perfect for doing this kind of simple, quick dish that you can cook up and then hang out and just sort of enjoy with your family. So perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this sauce. There we go. Give us a few little stir arounds. Get those veggies all good and submerged in the sauce. 
Now what I'm going to do is reduce my heat just a touch, and I'm going to add this fish right back into that curry, like so. And I'm just going to let that kind of simmer and cook through, and I'm going to let it sit here for a few minutes like this, and then I'm going to cover it and let it just sort of steam the rest of the way through. And this will create a really nice texture in that fish. We want to keep that halibut nice and moist and flaky and juicy. And this is a great way to do this while also having just an absolute ton of flavor. And there we go. It's looking very, very nice. It's cooking very, 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 very well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my secret ingredient, which is one of my favorite things, and that's mussels. Mussels in a dish like this go a super long way. Again, mussels are awesome because one of their secret ingredient, uh, mussels have their own secret ingredient, I should say, and that's the liquid that's inside. As these mussels steam open and release that liquid, basically any sauce or broth or whatever they come back into contact with gets absolutely amazing. So I'm just gonna sprinkle these kind of around the outside of the fish, like so. Oh, the smells off this curry are intense. It's so beautiful. I'm just going to sprinkle a few of these around. Mussels are just one of those things that people like. They'll order out uh, all the time, which is great. But they're so good to make at home and so, so, so easy. I cannot recommend making mussels enough. This is a, something we talk about in our classes a lot, is how easy it is to make mussels. We cook a lot of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lid and I'm going to cover this. I'm just gonna let that kind of steam through until those mussels open and that fish just is finished cooking through. Mussels are done basically as soon as they open. So once they open, there's not, you're really good to go. You just wanna make sure that fish is there, which it should be, because again, we got it kind of jump started on the top when we were searing the top with the flour. And now it's just gonna sort of simmer through and become absolutely beautiful. The curry's gonna get nice and rich. And we've got our rice. So let's get that plated up here. This will be a good way to do it. I've got just the little cup here. I'm gonna drop this sort of right in the center as I make a huge mess, because sometimes that's just the way you do. So I'm gonna cup that up tuck it in. You won't see it once the sauce is all down and around. And grab my little spoon and see how we're doing. So I'm going to pop the top here. And those mussels are already starting to open, which is exactly what we're looking for. Again, they don't take long. Mussels only take a few minutes. You can see those have already popped open. That fish is getting very near done. And that liquid from the mussels is really starting to seep into that sauce. So again, I'm just gonna let this kind of simmer and go for another couple of minutes and we'll be good to go. So again, going back to some of the things from this week, uh, your support on the curbside pickups and deliveries has been awesome. Uh, it's been great. We are going very steady. Um, and it's just been just a great, uh, response and we can't stress enough how appreciative we are of that the community coming together to support us in this time of need and allowing us to continue to get you fresh food when you need it um, that's so important right now and seeing everybody kind of come together work together um, be patient about things is great um, it's hard everybody's tension is high so being able to come to the store hang out for a little bit you know, get your fish, it's just been, it's been good. We've got a lot of people telling some very interesting stories and uh, it's just been, again, pretty, pretty fascinating. Um, and we're working hard to just continue to provide you with all that fish, um, which uh, we've got still a lot. So uh, if you're looking for halibut for the weekend or mussels, definitely give us a call. You can place an order. You can go online and place an order. Um, it's very, very easy to do. Um, if you have questions, definitely call the store or you can shoot us a message on Facebook. I've gotten a lot of messages. People asking a lot of questions about how the curbside pickup works. Um, 
and stuff like that. And things start developing every day. So we always got some kind of new news, things like that. Maybe you saw this morning, uh, we've also got Ahi Tuna on feature today, which is always awesome. That's been a huge hit already. Uh, $21.99 per pound on that. So excellent, excellent deal. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's remove my lid. Woo. Watch that steam as you take the lid off because it can be pretty warm. And what I've got here is just a thing of beauty. So, I'll go ahead, move my knife and my spoon, and let's start plating this up a little. So I'm just gonna kind of serve this around the edge here, like so. Just, again, green curry is easily one of my favorite dishes. And it's very, very, very easy to make. Try to not make a massive mess if at all possible, but you know, we do what we do. So there we go, we got that. And a little bit more of the broth, because that's so nice, and we want that rice to be able to sop that all up. Just perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead. Let's just wipe my plate down a little bit here. This is how we do. And what the heck, let's add a couple more mussels here and there. Perfect. I'm just letting that fish simmer just a touch more. It's nice and soft, which is what we want, but we also want to cook through. And while that does its thing, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I forgot my, my green onions, so I'm gonna grab those out of the refrigerator here. I'm gonna slice up some of these. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the ends off just a little bit, and then I'm gonna just do kind of my bias cut. We did this yesterday, too, with our lobster. This is just gonna be our garnish, so got that. Get this out of the way. We also want to cut some limes. So what I'm gonna do is take my lime. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little squeeze around here, just to give a little bit of a fresh pop. Go ahead and put a little over the fish as well. Into that broth, absolutely delicious. Get rid of that. Cut another little lime segment here. Again, for our garnish. And let's check this fish, see how we're doing. Oh yeah. And halibut, you'll know, is done when you can kind of look inside the cracks there, make sure that it's kind of white all the way through and that it's ready to just kind of flake apart. That's exactly what we're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead my spatula here. Let's scoop out my fish. Without it, letting it kind of fall apart all over the place. Set that on top of my rice. Perfect. You can see that fish just wants to sort of fall over, flatten the rice down a little bit so it holds the fish better. I'll take a little bit more of this broth, sort of pour this over, just beautiful. Turn my heat off, hit it with some of these green onions here. Again, just to give it a little bit of that fresh flavor at the end. I'm gonna let that pop, drop my spoon, go ahead and put some, put some lines on there. And we've got ourselves an absolutely beautiful halibut dish. This is stunning halibut, mussels, absolutely perfect. And so easy to make. Highly recommend this dish. Again, it's so, so easy. And that halibut stays just nice and soft and tender because we, again, we hard seared it on top, but then we put it into the sauce to stew. 
So really, really easy. Just beautiful plate of food. That is gonna make an excellent dinner. Highly recommend that you give this a try. Uh, again, we do have the halibut, first of the season wild halibut in stock right now. So definitely give us a call and uh, place an order. <laughs> apologize for drooling. Never apologize for drooling. Uh, that's why we do this. It's all about the food porn. Uh, but definitely, you know, give us a call. You can ask some questions too. You know, a lot of our team members are really good. We are busy right now, so we do ask patients. Um, but if you have general questions, things like that, cooking questions, hit me up on Facebook. Um, send us a message and I'm happy to answer all that stuff or Instagram or YouTube, whatever you want to watch these on. We are posting these up on YouTube uh, as well. So after I'm done here, I'll go upload this to YouTube so you can stream it there again if you wanna watch again, see how this was all done. Again, super easy, really delicious. Let's see, oh yeah, you are more than welcome. Thank you. Uh, we appreciate everybody who's been watching and sharing these videos. It's been fun for us to do, you know, we're just trying to help give you a few minutes to take your mind off some things. Watch some food videos, give you some content to have fun with. Maybe you'll decide to place an order and make this yourself. And again, if you do, please take pictures and post them. We wanna see what you are making, especially if you do that lobster dish that we made yesterday. That was super awesome. This is gonna be super delicious too. Very excited. On Tuesday, we did the cod with the braised and charred cabbage, which was great. And on Monday, we also did halibut. So there's another halibut recipe that you can go back to if you want for the weekend, which is the halibut with the spring risotto, which we have the recipe for on our website, um, which calls for asparagus. I used kale, you could use whatever. Same with this curry, so many things. If you've got pantry items you need to get rid of or things in your fridge that you need to get rid of, you can throw some peas in here. Some of that cabbage, if you had that leftover, you could put that in here. Even some of the kimchi that we used yesterday, if you had some leftover of that, you could throw some of that in here. This is a great vessel for a lot of flavors. Uh, so definitely consider doing so. Um, it's just a great way to use up things, make sure you're not wasting stuff. Curry, soup, stews, all perfect for that kind of thing. So highly recommend doing. Uh, otherwise, we'll be back tomorrow with a new video. Uh, figure out what we're gonna cook up and we should have some fun. So thank you all again for tuning in. If you have questions, anything like that, please hit us up. We are around. Um, Messenger is a great way to get in touch with me directly. Otherwise, we will see you tomorrow. Thanks.